What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more reactions on the channel, man. Hopefully you guys are checking this out for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons, okay? Because this one is entitled Racism, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know because this pro this video is probably going to be de demonetized. I don't even know if I can monetize in the first place. I haven't uploaded it yet, so I don't know. But more than likely, if I can monetize it, it will be demonetized because YouTube does not like people. They trying to censor everybody. So anyways, you can't censor my mouth, YouTube. Anyways, but this is Adam Calhoun talking about racism. The reason why I'm doing this video for the first time listening to him is because it's the first video that popped up. I'm telling you got the truth because I've searched, I've went back and looked to see if any of you guys suggested this video, um, suggested not this video specifically, but a specific song by Adam Calhoun. And this is my first time listening to him and I could not find any comment. I don't know. Maybe I was skimming too fast and didn't see it, but I typed him, typed him, typed in his name. And this is the first video that came up. And so we're going to check it out. Plus, it's a subject that, you know, it's a touchy subject. But at the end of the day, I want to hear what he has to say about this in song format. Maybe that would help me to understand what type of artist he's going to be going forward as I continue to react to him or whatever the situation is. I'm also going to be checking out Tom McDonald, which is a very controversial dude in the industry, too, as I've heard. So... Let's go check this out, man. Adam Calhoun, racism. Let's give him a round of applause and let's jump into this. Crack your ass, crack it, got your rebel flag with your camo hat backwards. Stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth. Piece of shit truck broke down, middle of the street. Old lady bitching in the passenger seat. Smoking like a chimney, kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid. Hold on, hold on, Adam. Wait a second here, my homie. Bro, where is where is this flow coming from? This is a fire ass beat and the flow is nice on it. Wait a minute. I already think I'm going to love this guy. Bruh. I dude, the dude sounds black as hell. <laughs> Bro, that flow is nasty and what he's talking about, bro. I got to pull that all the way back, homie. I want to turn that up just a little bit. I want to hear him better in my headphones. Wait, wait a minute, guys. What are you guys getting me into with all the with, with these white rappers, man? Bro, what, what we got the white takeover? <laughs> is, that, is that what's happening right now? Is that is is that's what's going on, man? I didn't know there were so many white rappers out there that are doing their thing, bro. Oh my, this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. I'm telling you, man. And 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 you have guys out here talking about talking about how these guys don't belong. Do you hear Adam Calhoun's flow on racism, my guy? Did you hear this? This is hip hop. Let's get it popping, man. Fuck you rapping for crack your ass cracker got your rebel flag with your camo hat backwards stains on your shirt with your fucked up teeth piece of shit truck broke down middle of the street old lady bitching in the okay so basically what i'm getting from this song is maybe this is the stuff that black people be saying to white people you get what i'm saying like probably that's why because i as you guys know my stance on this is that you don't want to be you don't want white people to call you a nigger don't call him a cracker. You get what I'm saying? Let them do that. Let them do that. They can do that. You get what I'm saying? But we are not doing that. It's racism. If calling, if, if by your definition, if by your definition, 
is that a white person can't call you a nigger because it's 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 racist that you can't turn around and call him a cracker. That makes you racist. We can't have a double standard. It just, we can't. We can't have that. You don't want to be called a nigger. Don't call a white person a cracker. Okay? That's my stance. Passenger seat, smoking like a chimney. Kids in the back can't breathe. Got a kid on her lap. Smack his ass if he speaks. Always wearing white feeders because her ass can't be. Okay, that's mm. white trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker, never even near a city. Out in the woods, hunting deeper than the Oh woods, my god, this this flow is giving me goosebumps. I can't believe. Bro, I'm trying to remember who he reminds me of, man. Oh, bro, this dude's flow on this beat is absolute perfection when you're talking about timing and when you're talking about timing and delivery this is this dude should be given lessons my guy on how to ride a beat in hip-hop man oh my god the thing is giving me goosebumps because it's perfection it's perfection that's white trash, but what about a hillbilly? Redneck motherfucker, never even near a city. Out in the woods, hunting deeper than the wolves. Get that big old buck, bring them home, eat until they fall. All mm. out in the shed, on the side, drinking shine. Only hey, y'all hear me though. Y'all hear me though. Hunting is one of the things that is on my bucket list. I want to go hunting. I want to know what that is like. I want to know what that is like, even though, you know... <laughs> You know, I, I've never, you know, sh shot a gun before, but I, <laughs> I want to to do that. You know what I'm saying? I want to go hunting one day, maybe shoot a deer or two. You know what I mean? A duck. I don't care. I just want to try it. Let's go back a bit. Adam is killing it right now. He's killing it. Out in the shed, on the side, drinking shine. Old lady bitch, you better bring your ass aside. It's way past nine. You've been drinking all night. Gotta get to work on time. Up before the sun rise. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. Hey, you shouldn't care. I don't care, kiss my ass. I don't care, kiss my ass. They call me redneck, white trash, say it back. Nigga ass nigga got your sagging pants with your ass hanging out the back Hanging out in front of liquor stores selling crack Just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac baby. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people is saying How come he not saying nothing about him saying nigga? I don't give a shit <laughs> And if you guys have been on this channel long enough You know I don't care I really don't care I don't care uh, come at me all the black people on the channel come at me because I don't care that white people say nigga as long as he's saying nigga I don't care but if he's using the art er then we probably would ha I would have a problem with that because that's the one that the stigma is you get what I'm saying but there's a limit to it there's a limit to it. I don't care if white rappers say 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 nigga. I re I don't care. It's not that big a deal to me. I have white friends that if they say the if they say nigga, hey nigga, what's up, whatever. Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, don't say that, man. Don't say that. Like, dude, listen, man. I have bigger things to worry about than worrying about this a damn word. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring it back. Now bring it back a liquor store selling crack just so you could put some 24s on your Cadillac. Talk to Baby him. mama bitch, you ain't taking care of business. All you do is smoke weed, run around with other bitches. Hey, mm. you can't keep a job cuz you in and out of prison. Guess it must be Trump's fault cuz you making bad decisions. Ooh. What about black? Talk to him, man. Do you have any idea how much I when I talk to my to my black friends? You get what I'm saying? When I talk to them, I'm like, y'all blame everybody for everything. And y'all not doing shit to make things better for yourself. 
You're not doing nothing. How are you? As I said, these people are acquaintances anyways. I try to give them advice, but they don't listen. They try to they try to work the system and then they say, Oh, this is cool. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's all good. We're old. Nigga, ain't nobody owe you shit. <laughs> okay? Nobody owes you anything. You're here. Everybody is put on this earth for a purpose. For a purpose. Figure out what that is. And do it. Adam Calhoun is riding this beat. It must be Trump's fault because you're making bad decisions. Mm. That's about niggas, but what about black folk? Raise their kids right every night. Mom and dad are home. Mm. For a job, not crying about a privilege. Yes. Crying out the God, stop the violence where we live in. Mm. Fuck it though. You a nigga, hand out just a cracker. They pin us against each other. Sit back and they watch it happen. Niggas ah. Selling crack and killing over shoes and jackets. In the trailer park, they fall apart a bunch of mad. Oh my god. That's right. And nobody should care. Now, this dude is a beast. I like him already. But what I want you guys to do is let me know under this video what songs of Adam Calhoun you want me to check out. This one was definitely already. I'm a fan based on the beat choice, based on what he was saying, based on the flow on the beat, based on everything. Where have I been, man? Where have I been? I've been sleeping on a lot of these people out here, man. I didn't know because the industry has been taken over by mumble rappers. So I didn't know people like this was out here making real music and still honoring the tradition of what hip hop is all about. And there's a lot of people out here and they be talking. They be talking about, oh, I know hip hop and I know the history and all of this other stuff. So white people ain't welcome and all of this other stuff. And I'm like, dude, it's a genre of music. Stop inserting yourself into, oh, it belongs to us. Nigga, hip hop doesn't belong to black people. And I'm, I'll say that. And y'all, if, if, if y'all out there want to, um, if y'all out there want to dislike my video because of what I'm saying, because I'm black and it's a part of the patriarchy whatever y'all want to say i really don't care because at the end of the day because at the end of the day guess what i am here to love all that's what i'm here to do i'm here to love all welcome all because all i want to do is spread more love you can spread the hate if you want but i believe that i'm supposed to, i'm here to spread love that's what we're here for and i'm no tree hugger out here I just believe in that very strongly and it's, it's something that I think the world needs a lot more of and we don't give it to them. We get, you know, most people, a lot of people nowadays, all they do is get on the internet. Oh, who can I hate on today? Oh, 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 that guy? Oh, cancel him. Oh, 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 that guy's doing that? Oh, let's just cancel him. Oh, he made a mistake? Oh, uh, let's cancel him. What is, what is going on, man? Why is it that we can't show love? What, people are not allowed to make mistakes anymore because what, they're in the spotlight? Are you serious? Is that it, This is the situation that we go through these days. That is what we, we so what? Suppose you, get, suppose you get famous one day and make a mistake. You're going to want them to treat you the same way, right? So you can issue a long apology. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Consistency. I'll give you, I, I would tell you guys a story right now, but I want to end this video. <laughs> Anyways, this was a dope ass reaction, man. Uh, dope ass reaction. Dope ass song. <laughs> Anyways, this was a dope ass song, man. I liked it very much. I love what he was saying in the music. He's basically, basically comparing basically apples to apples. You know what I'm saying? Oranges to oranges. You know what I'm saying? He's basically saying like the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You got your crackers, you got your white people, you got your niggas, you got your black people. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, not to say that there's 
a, a huge difference, but you have in every culture, in ev uh, in every race, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have your doers, and you know, and you know, and you know, good doers, or whatever you want to call it, uh, and and vice versa. You're gonna have those people because you're never gonna have a culture that's always right. I mean, a lot of people they look up to India culture when and they don't know what goes under the surface of India. India is one of those countries where just like my country, let me not talk about India. No no them come for me. There's too many of them. <laughs> right? So let let me talk about Jamaica. A lot of people go go to Jamaica, right? And they come back and they're like, "Oh my god, it's so nice there." I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> try living there <laughs> and then you can come talk to me okay because the economy is complete shit <laughs> okay so you just going there to spend a couple of weeks is not a good enough time period for you to understand what's going on in the underbelly of that country i'm telling you guys there's a lot of stuff that goes on there that a lot of people don't know of they just see the surface stuff and they see this and that and whatever, but there's so many things. I think at one point, Jamaica had the, um, I think it was like the 10th highest. We was on the top 10 highest murder rate in the world. Okay. So, so it's ridiculous. And there's only like probably around 3 million people that live in that country. So you can imagine. You know, and I'm not telling you guys this th to say I don't love my country because I love Jamaica to death. I am planning to go back home after, you know what I'm saying, after I do what I do here to go back there to, I don't know, die. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Like when I retire from everything, I'll just go back home and just chill, man. I love my country. Um, but there's, as I said, man, in every culture, for every race, you're going to have the people who do good and the, te the people that do um, bad. You're going to have your people who don't want to work at it. You're going to have your lazy people. In every culture, you're going to have that because guess what? It's about the human race. It's not about an individual or an individual or a particular race, I should say. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. Hope I didn't talk too much on this one, but Adam Calhoun got me fired up, man. The dude is a beast. Let's go, man. Already know um, I heard he did a song with Up Church too, so I'm probably going to check that out as soon as possible. But thank you guys so much, man. It's it's just it's just cool to see good music. I just like to hear good music. I don't care if it's an Asian person doing hip hop. If he got bars, let him in. Simple, simple. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new. All you Adam Calhoun fans out there, make sure you come and check out your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. We out here, we trying to expose these people to the world and let them know that we got real artists in the genre that's coming in. I don't care about the race. I don't care about the color of the skin. If they're talking real shit, we going to promote them, okay? That's what Reactions is all about. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what song you would like me to re um, react to from Adam Calhoun. Thank you guys so much. Stare by reacts. Peace.